What's up everybody, Hooked On Family here, Captain Scott Brown, we got the entire gang, my wife Lindsay. Today we're gonna talk about how we prepare Thanksgiving dinner. We got a special cut of meat. It is a piece of elk tenderloin. And so we got this recipe from the Traeger website. Let's get into it. What are we working with oh here, Lindsay? Oh God. Oh man, this is zoomed in, isn't it? <laughs> Let me back up. Show us what we're working with. All right, so um, I'm not gonna measure this because. What is that? Salt? Salt, we're starting with some sea salt. Do Just that. gonna douse it. Yeah. Some pepper. Some black pepper. So that's the elk tenderloin that we got going on there. What is that in your this hands? This is onion powder. Onion powder. Sure. So far, salt, pepper, onion powder, a little bit of paprika. Oh, Just a play. It looks like I am, but I promise I'm not. Um, and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side, and then we're gonna move to a, a bag. What do we got going on here, dude? Um, you got a haircut? Yeah. Why'd um, you get your haircut? Because I wanted to. Because I wanted to, boss. Ah. Chandler, what are you doing? Uh. Yeah, you got your blanket? <laughs> Good deal. Okay, so we did that other side, so both sides have been So we got seasoned. this thing dry rub seasoned with salt, black pepper, or what was the other thing? Onion powder and Onion paprika. Powder. So now I'm gonna drop it in this bag. Just a Ziploc bag. Just a Ziploc. <laughs> I'm gonna put some soy sauce. The Traeger recipe didn't call for soy sauce, but people commented and said that it was good. Mm, salty. So I'm gonna add in some garlic. We're big garlic people, so put it in there. And then we are, I'm gonna close this bag and kind of rub it all in. Massage the meat. And we're gonna let this sit for just like 10 or 15 minutes before we put it on the grill. Sounds good. All right, I know it's been a while for everybody, for Hooked On Family. Thanks for all the subscribers. Thank you for people that share, like these videos. It means a lot to us. Right now, what I got going on is the Traeger Grill, baby. All right, so we got this thing preheated. We got it smoking. We got it set to that 426. So we're gonna give that meat some time to marinate, and then we should be able to get it down here, put it on probably like 10, 10 minutes at the most. Elk likes to cook real quickly, so you gotta be very, very, very time sensitive. Speaking of time sensitive, I've got my new 501c3 called Valiant Traditions. It's about to drop and hit the internet at any moment. We got the IRS sitting on that 501c3 paperwork, so be sure you go over to valianttradition.org's website, check it out. Be sure to check out our Instagram page, Follow, share, it is gonna be a kick-ass 501c3. It's gonna benefit all the Gold Star family members, Purple Heart recipients, and soft operator family members. Fully guided outdoor experience, hunting and fishing, Valiant Traditions coming at you. Stay tuned. What we got going on? So we got some elk, and we left the lake, we went to North Carolina, you went to North Carolina to get that elk? All right, so we got our elk from the local butcher down in downtown Key West. What, White Street. It's on White Street. I think it's called the local butcher. Yeah, Never been there before, but it seemed pretty damn legit. Those are mahi jaws. Those are mahi jaws? Where'd you get them from? Left of a meat. Let me get a zoom in on those. And we got this from the pinfish trap, didn't we? And the... Uh, we also got a filet from the oh, butcher. We got a filet. Great. Are you going to yes. eat any of this meat? Yeah, I like elk. Oh, you like elk? <laughs> you like deer? What's your favorite? Deer, elk, or wild boar? Um, elk and elk, deer. Elk and deer. So. You know what I like? Your feet aren't on my counter. <laughs> what do you got to say to that, dude? Your feet are on the counter? Oh, Disgusting. gross, dude. Your feet are on the you counter? That's my barefoot. Nasty. You got your stickers, Sam? I love those stickers. Chow is a red fish. Chow is a red fish. She is a red fish. She's got stickers on her tail. Anybody else got their Christmas tree up for Thanksgiving? <laughs> Sua sponte, do what I want. All 
Alright, how long have we got this thing marinating for? How long do we have this away? Ten minutes? Now. Yeah. Five, ten, about ten minutes. Like Alright, so we marinated this venison. Excuse me. Elk tenderloin. <laughs> and what's the other piece of meat that we got over here? A filet. Filet. And I just did the filet the same way. Same, same dry rub. Chandler, chill out. Same dry rub. Both pieces of meats. Let's throw them on the Traeger. So Elk time. Elk time. <laughs> Elk time. Look at that. Somebody's got to... Chan Chan! Look at that Come on, Chandler. You got your blanket? All right, let's get this elk on this Traeger. Come on, little lady. Got the Maverick sitting pretty. Some St. Croix rods. Oh. Mom, Dad, take, All right. a, take a picture of me. I don't need to take a picture of you, you goofy man. Is that your bird now? Chandler, back up. All right. All right, what are we working with? The girl's on high. Is it like 4.30? Yeah, 4.30 right now. All right. So we're just taking this elk tenderloin. This New York strip, putting it straight oh on the Oh my god, it's not a New York strip. What is it? A filet. A oh, filet, my fault, girl. Woo! Put the meat on that grill. You. Man, listen to that. Scott was incorrect with his timing. We're going to give it about probably four minutes on each side. Four minutes on each side. My fault. I'll Maybe stand, five on I'll each side. I'll corrected. Oh, look at that milk tenderloin. All right. It's tasty. So start your, start your engine. Start your timers. Thing, grill master, flip it. No. What does your timer say? One more minute. Ooh, one more minute. Yeah, what are you doing over here? <laughs> you got a harpoon? Oh my goodness, that was powerful. Look out. My steak first. All right, flip it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tasty. All right. What are you thinking? Four minutes one side. Yeah. You just flipped it. Four minutes. Clearly, we, we, we don't live our lives regimented and to the exact instructions. So, we just gave one side about four minutes, give or take. And so, waiting for that. We got another four minutes. And then uh, we're going to take the meat off the grill. It's a nice golden brown color. All right, what's up? Look at me. Sweet harpoon. That's actually a kite rod, but whatever. That was the timer, woman. That was the timer. My cue. Let's peep it. The elk meat, baby. And the filet mignon. Oh, good. That looks real good. Just gonna give it a little extra sear. Sear man, power. Let's get a zoom in on this. Oh, man. Ooh, real master. Tasty. Alright, just put the Traeger on shutdown. We got our tasty elk tenderloin. A piece of filet mignon. Let's go, creatures. Get up the stairs. I cannot wait to cut into this thing. Let's get on it. All right. Oh, oh nice. Look at that. More stickers all over the place. Sweet. Wow. Did you put those there? Yeah. Oh, you did. Oh, man, tasty. Mashed potatoes in a plastic box. Just as good as any other mashed potatoes. Oh, they're potatoes. better than... Sorry, ones. folks. Yeah. We're not connoisseurs of mashed potatoes. Get out of the drawers, Chandler. Okay. Ooh, let's cut into that. Get this with me using my metal whisk in this what? pan. Is that, is that that's a thing? A, that's not a good oh, thing. Oh man, metal but, on uh, metal. This pan was Look made out. $5. That looks good. Let's cut into this. I'm ready to cut into this. Right now? Oh yeah. I mean, not now. It's totally up to you. I'll, I'll wait. Why are you so close to my face? Because I love you. Oh. You hungry? I do. Yeah, I bet you are. I'm hungry too. Let's eat. All right, we got the macaroni, green bean casserole. We got these little plastic box mashed potatoes. Don't judge. And we got the kids' dinner. Get ready, because you hungry. All right. Got some of that gravy. But most importantly, the cutting of the meat. I don't. Give it to them. You want me to do this? Yeah, I want you to do it. I got a sports bin in my mouth. Man, tasty. Do I just, like, start in the middle? However you want to do it. I'm not an elk connoisseur. To... Just start at the tip. I'm gonna start in the middle, and see where we are. Ooh, man. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna to zoom in on that. This is that elk tenderloin, people. We're gonna just 
just do some thin. Let it rest for a little bit. Let it rest. We're having some focus I'm issues. I'm not a very good cutter. It's falling goodness. apart, which is it is falling apart. Which that's, is good. That's not, that's not on you. That's just a testament <laughs> to the Traeger grill. A, um, All right, so we got our piece of elk tenderloin. It looks pretty tender. It's falling apart on us. Oh my god, this is Ooh, like melting. Man, melting. All of this is melty. So, ten out of ten would recommend the butcher. Ten out of ten would recommend what? The local butcher. The local butcher. I mean, I haven't eaten it yet, but what it street is, is that on? On White Street. White Street. Local Butcher. Key West, Florida. On point. We'll tag them. So we have just cut up this elk tenderloin and filet mignon from the local butcher over on White Street. And it is phenomenal quality. I mean, not, not even close to subpar. This is some of the best meat that I've ever seen in my life. So hopefully it tastes just as good as it looks. Let's get into that taste test. I hate this. <laughs> All right, on, on a scale of one to 10, the filet mignon or the, the, the elk tenderloin? Um, I mean, they're both delicious. I don't know. They're both delicious? Yeah. I don't know. Great. I'll take an elk tenderloin. Mm. Paper plates and elk meat, baby. <laughs> you can't beat it. It, look, it looks phenomenal. And if I had to guess, it'd probably taste phenomenal. It Thank you. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Mm. All right, we got our tiny chairs right here. <laughs> mm, tasty. Where am I sitting at? That, Grayton wants you to sit by him. All right, we got to switch. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm putting them right here. Right. Just trying to get some of this elk meat, dog. I want All right, what's the consensus? Elk? Elk? Yeah. Good? Steak and elk. Steak and elk? How's the elk? Pretty good? He's eating all the elk. What do you think, Chan Chan? Ah! Uh. <laughs> elk. <laughs> All right, so we're about to do it. Elk tenderloin, baby. Elk tenderloin. Legit. You know what really makes it? The soy sauce. Yeah. That's what really makes it. Thanks for tuning in to our little, what would you even call this? I would say Hooked on Family's Traeger Tuesday, but it ain't Tuesday. Maybe we should do like a Traeger Thursday. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing and liking Hooked on Family. Hopefully you guys learned something from today and just appreciate everything. Go check out and stay in tune. Go check out and stay in tune. Be sure and look forward to Valiant Traditions. It's making its way forward. The IRS has to just file our paperwork. That 501c3 will be solidified. So Valiant Traditions, Hooked on Family, stay tuned. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Chandler, <laughs> did you just fart? Did you just fart, Chandler? Yeah. At the dinner table. Yeah. Must be the elk. <laughs>